Hello, my name is Dr. Claire Hannan. I'm a GP with special interest in headache. I'm going to talk about acute treatment of migraine attacks. Migraine is a complex neurological disorder characterized by recurrent throbbing headaches, often accompanied by nausea and vomiting, sensitivity to light, smell, noise or movement. Some patients experience an aura. This is usually a visual disturbance like zigzag lines or flashing lights which occurs before the onset of the headache and can last up to 60 minutes. Treatment of migraine attacks involves medication and lifestyle measures. There are a number of different types of medication that can be used to treat your acute migraine attacks. The first group is simple analgesia such as paracetamol. This is available over the counter without a prescription. Soluble or dissolvable forms are also available which may act more rapidly. The second group of medications is anti-inflammatories. There are a number of different drugs in this class. Some of them, like Nurofen or Ibuprofen and Aspirin or Dispirin, are available over the counter without a prescription. Other med medications include Diclofenac or Diphene, Methanamic Acid or Ponstan, and Naproxen or Naprosyn and Vimovo. These are available with prescription only. These medications have different side effects and different strengths. Side effects of anti-inflammatories include stomach upset and gastrointestinal bleeding. Some anti-inflammatories may not be suitable for asthmatics who may be sensitive to anti-inflammatory medication or people with kidney or heart disease. If you're unsure if these medications are suitable for you, please speak with your doctor. Another group of medications used are anti-emetic or anti-nausea medication. These may be beneficial for people who experience nausea and vomiting during an attack. The final group of medications are triptans. Triptans are migraine specific medications used only to relieve an acute migraine attack. Unlike paracetamol or anti-inflammatories, they are not general painkillers. They should only be used by people who have been diagnosed with migraine by a doctor. Examples include imigran or sumatriptan and Zomig or Zalmatriptan. Sumatran relief is available over the counter from your pharmacist without a prescription to patients who have been diagnosed with migraine. If you experience an aura, you should not take your triptan during the aura phase. Wait until the headache has begun. Triptans are not suitable for patients who have a history of stroke, ischemic heart disease, hemiplegic migraine, or pregnancy. We recommend using a step-by-step -step approach to managing your migraine attacks. We also recommend taking medication early in the course of your attack as it can be more difficult to treat a severe attack. It may take trial and error to determine what medication works best for you. Step one involves using either paracetamol or an anti-inflammatory. If either drug alone does not provide adequate pain relief they can be used in combination. Repeat doses may be taken according to the product guidelines if needed. Step two involves using a triptan if your doctor has recommended one for you. If the headache is eased by the triptan but then returns, a repeat dose may be taken after two hours for most triptans as specified in the product guidelines. The maximum dose of triptans should not be exceeded. If step one and step two fail to control your migraine attack, then step three should be considered. This involves the use of paracetamol and an anti-inflammatory and a triptan together. Antiemetics or anti-nausea medication can be used at any step in the process if needed. We do not recommend using acute medication more than six to eight days per month. Overuse of acute medication should be avoided as it is associated with the development of a medication overuse headache or rebound headache. We do not recommend the use of codeine containing medication such as sulfidine, Nurofen Plus, Sulfidol or Tylex because codeine is more likely to cause a medication overuse headache than paracetamol or anti-inflammatories. If you need to use acute medication more than two days per week, please see your doctor to consider starting a preventive medication.